What's up, ladies and gents? Excalibur is here bringing you some more kill confirmed gameplay. Oh my god. It's a savior in a game that I was just about ready to give up on completely. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. Um, I have seen quite a few comments saying that the, uh, the apocalypse is coming because I actually enjoy this game, quote unquote, and um, I'll just be upfront. I mean, I, I put this. Call of Duty in the same level as every other Call of Duty. I mean, it still does infuriate me because at the base of everything, it's still Call of Duty, and and everything that 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 entails is usually pretty infuriating to me. <clears throat> I mean, it's still there, I mean, but regardless of all that, Call of Duty does still have the potential to be fun. It's just um hard to get all those uh, all those things together so that you can actually have a non-rage inducing experience. Luckily for me, Kill Confirmed kind of does a pretty good job of that. Though, I would be a liar if I said I did not rage every now and then. <laughs> but that's just Call of Duty, you know, that's just the way it is. But anyway, I digress. Uh, basically, oh, whoa, calm down there, Air Jordan. Flying all over the place, goddamn maniac. Um... I want to talk about a setup that I've been playing with for the better part of tonight. Was uh, I call it? Part of me wants to call it the Captain America setup. I don't know why. Something about that just screams team player. But I guess I could just call it the ultimate team player. And uh, pretty much what that entails is running the ballistic vest kill streak, support kill streak. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a five point streak that. Um, deploys like a little duffel bag of <laughs> ballistic vest. I don't know where he keeps this shit. I mean, it's... <laughs> I thought Batman had a pretty badass utility belt, but these soldiers, I mean, Sam Turret's out the wazoo. Uh, if they have Sam Turret's like that now, then they probably have the same for sentry guns. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I don't care for sentry guns. Never used it. But, uh... <clears throat> pretty much what it is, is it's pretty much Juggernaut, a one-time Juggernaut type deal. It gives you 30, 30 extra health, and if it takes enough damage, it gets permanently destroyed, so I don't know if it regens health. By the way, nice spawn, bro, with his fucking <laughs> G. Oh, never mind, hold on, with his uh, dead man's hand. Death streak, fun stuff, yeah, pretty great. Yeah, pretty much five point streak, and it gives uh, drops a little double bag of juggernaut for uh, your whole team to pick up. I don't know how long it lasts. It lasts like two or three minutes, I think. Probably short, probably like a minute and a half, actually. And unfortunately, the teammates aren't too bright at grabbing it when uh, when possible, but it'll catch on eventually. I mean, I do drop a lot of these fucking things in games, so it'll catch on eventually. And, uh, <clears throat> on top of the ballistic vest spammage, I have Recon Pro, which, um, Recon at its base, what it does is it paints the enemy on your minimap if you hit them with explosive damage from grenades, semtexes, bouncing betties, C4, RPGs, noob tubes, and even uh, the damage from stun and flashbangs will paint them on the map. And what I mean by painting them on the map is it drops a little arrow on their head, or on the mini map, you see, like right there. <clears throat> and it, it, it's kind of like it functions exactly like a blackbird. Um, it paints them for about 10 seconds, I want to say, something like that. It's not too long, but long enough. For a game like this, but you know, not absurdly long. Um, so, and this is universal. It's not just myself who gets this benefit. It is the entire team, and it is, as far as I can tell, is uncounterable unless they have counter UAV in the air, which is pretty badass already. But Recon Pro, and this is. This is the good part, is anyone you shoot with bullets gets painted. So you can peg a guy from across the map with your pistol, and he'll be painted on the minimap for everyone to see, which is pretty fucking amazing. I gotta say, I really like it, and <clears throat> it does have, it, I mean, it's, I call it the little team support, but it is also good for yourself, because, you know, there are those times where you'll shoot a guy in the back as he's moving around a corner, and, you know, he'll get away. 
And usually that's when fun stuff happens, you know, you start playing mind games with each other trying to trick someone else, but since you know exactly where they are, they don't stand a damn chance. It's fucking amazing. I can't, I'm surprised that not, not many people are using it, but uh, I have to say it gets a thumbs up from me. Now as to whether it's worth using over a sleight of hand, I mean, depending on what type of player you're trying to be, um, it's like I, I can, I can already tell you there's plenty of times in, uh, in, I guess, I, I guess there are plenty of times, I should just say, plenty of times in general where I wish I had that uh, faster switch out, faster weapon swap, whatever you want to call it, just because these maps are so chaotic, they can get really chaotic sometimes, it's crazy, like, I mean, that guy with the <laughs> goddamn death streak just bump rushed me like two, two times in a row, uh, and that just translates lots of other maps and you have to have a death streak but you know I only have so much ammo even with extended mags there's just not enough ammo to go around and there's just too many people instant respawn pain in my existence but yeah ultimate team player setup juggernaut for everyone recon pro to paint people and it's it's great because on kill confirmed there are times when people just get clustered up on spawn it's just like a tidal waves crashing into each other sometimes, you know, Team A, Team B just smashing each other in one spot, and I mean, you just, to you just toss, a, toss a flashbang in there, Semtex, maybe another flashbang for good measure, and uh, everyone on their team will be on your minimap regardless of any perks that they have. Assassins, I laugh at you. Then again, I am also using Assassin. <laughs> oh, I got to the dark side, I know it's horrible. But... Honestly, I have a hard time justifying not using it. As crazy as it sounds, I mean, there is just way too much UAV up in the air. I mean, you know, for someone like me who is just running two kill streaks, um, I probably get like five or six UAVs a game on average. And uh, with the new support strike package set up, I mean, everyone is going to get a UAV. It does not matter how bad you are or how good you are. I mean, everyone's going to get one eventually if they're running support. And, I mean, that translates into lots of UAV. I hate being on UAV, so I got to use it. At least I don't camp with it. That's my only saving grace. But, so there you have it. The Captain America setup would be even more amazing if I had the Brokimbo Scorpions. But I did Prestige, so lost all my goodies. It's just terrible. Uh, but 35, 9, and 5, lots of juggernauts for everyone, painted fools all day, er day, and pretty good stuff, I approve. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and peace out.